channel. My name is Summer and I am a reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've had a lot of things going on. Um, I had knee surgery again on my right knee, second time this year. I'm still getting over that, so I've had to take a break um, from my reselling business. Um, but back uh, four months ago, I had ordered a 100 pound mixed clothing box from ThreadUp. Um, I did a video on that unboxing if you want to go check it out. Um, my impressions on that box at first I was not happy because I had a lot of um, pieces that needed a lot of work, a lot of damage. Um, my mom, thank goodness, is can sew and she helped me um, fix a lot of the things. Um, but we got a lot of them fixed and I had to stain treat a lot of stuff. I mean, it was a lot of work, but my impressions on the box now is that it was well worth the money for me. And I personally would order another one. Um, so I promised you guys that I would do a um, kind of what sold and follow up um, on that box. So like I said, I got it four months ago. I paid $300. Um, I have sold, I'm looking down at my information here. I have, um, I had 144 pieces in the box. I only could list 132, which I think is great. Um, but I listed everything that I possibly could, even things that had flaws, but I just listed them for super cheap. And a lot of those things have sold um, to my surprise, just not for very much, but it did help recoup you know, a lot of my money. So I listed it. I didn't have anything else to list anyway. So, um, so it wasn't a big deal for me. I have sold 52 pieces and I have 80 pieces left, which I think is great. Um, I am not going to show you guys every 52 pieces that I sold. Um, but I will do my top 20 for you. We would be here all day if I did. Um, but I will share with you that I have made off the, the, um, 52 pieces, $781 and three cent. Um, that is not, that is including taking out, um, Poshmark, Macari and Facebook marketplace fees. Um, so that's my, my profit. And then if you minus the $300 that the box cost, I have profited $481 and three cent, which is I think it's great um, even for four months and I still have 80 pieces left so let's go and show you guys some of the pieces that I have sold and this is in no particular order and I will tell you how many days it took to sell um, the first thing was this fluorescent yellow Patagonia nano puff jacket it was a size extra small it did have some stains on it not not too bad that I could not get out, but I did try to stay and treat it to get it out, but it still sold for $70. So I profited after fees, $56. This next thing was this green Adidas Firebird zip up jacket. It was a size medium. Um, it was a men's and, uh, oh yeah, the Patagonia jacket, it sold the day that I listed it. So back to the Adidas jacket. Um, it took two days to sell and it sold for $23. After fees, I made $18.40. This next thing is this J. Crew Factory Distressed Medium Rise Skinny Jeans in a size 28. They took four days to sell and they sold for $52. And after fees, I put $52, which is not correct. So you take out 20% of the $52 and um, that was my profit. Sorry, guys. Um, and all, the majority of these things sold on Poshmark. I will let you know um, if they sold on another platform. This next thing is this black polo Ralph Lauren silk. The back of the dress was like 100% silk. It was gorgeous. Um, it was like a shift dress and a size 12. It took 10 days to sell. It sold for $45. After fees, I made $36. All right, next was this olive green Everlane cropped oversized sweatshirts in a size large. It sold the day that I listed it. 
for $23. After fees, I made $18.40. This next thing were these Michael Kors dark wash straight leg jeans in a size 14. They took six days to sell. They sold for $25. After fees, I made $20. Next were these 7-7 seven, seven Melissa McCartney dark wash boot cut jeans in a size 16. They took 11 days to sell. For 20, sold for $26. After fees, I made $20.80. 80 cent, yeah. Um, next was this burgundy, the brand was Arquette, merino wool crew neck sweater in a size large. It took 12 days to sell. The, I made, uh, it sold for $45 after fees. I made $36. Next was this BCBG Max Aria black Kellen faux suede leather dress in a size six. It took 21 days to sell. It sold for $42 and after fees, I made $33.60. Next was this yellow Jules waterproof canvas raincoat in a size six. It also had stains on it that I did try to get out, but I could not. Um, it still sold, I still listed it. It was a cute jacket. Um, it took 19 days to sell. It sold for $25 and I gave a shipping discount on that of $12, I mean $2.12 and after fees and shipping discount, I made $17.88. Alright, this next thing was so pretty. It was this Anthropology Airy Plus Alley Trumpet Lace Dress in this like off-white cream color. It was a size 10. It did have a rip in the bottom on one of the seams where the lace was. Um, but my mom, being the wonderful sewer or seamstress that she is, she sewed that right up and you, you couldn't even tell it. It look, looked brand new. Um, it took 21 days to sell. It sold for $45. After fees, I made $36. Next was this black Via Spiga down and feather puffer coat in a size medium. It was missing the, it, it, supposed, it was supposed to have this rabbit fur um, collar, like fur collar, and it was missing. And it had makeup stains on the collar. And I just tried to wipe it with a wet cloth to get it off because I didn't want to have to take this coat to the dry cleaners to clean it um, but I couldn't get it off so I just disclosed that that the, the collar was missing and the, the makeup stains and it still sold it took 37 days to sell it sold for $40 and after fees I made $32 next was this Vince light blue sweatshirt in a size small it had this very teeny teeny tiny bleach stain on the front and i didn't even really see it until i got it up under my lights to photograph it um, but i did disclose it and it took 42 days to sell it sold for 45 dollars and after fees i made 36 dollars okay next was this black adriana papel evening essentials maxi skirt it sold in 69 days for $28 and I made after fees and a shipping discount I made $20.28. Next was this Express Black Bandage Skater Mini Skirt in a size extra small. It was new with tags but it did have this little small pick on the back of it. It was a cute skirt. Um, I had, had it listed for 60 days I try to relist my items every 60 days. So I relisted it and it sold within two days after relisting it. It sold for $24 and after fees, I made $19.20. Next is this Chico's Tan Snakeskin Print Pencil Skirt in a size two. And it sold on Macari. It took 60 days to sell. It sold for $21. Um, I offer free shipping on Macari, and it costs four dollars and thirty-three cents to ship. After fees, I made thirteen dollars and sixty-six cents. 
Next was this Crown and Ivy 100% tinsel ruffle top in this mint green, size extra large. It sold also on Macari. It took 58 days to sell. It sold for $20 after I paid for shipping, which was $3.48. I made $13.64. Next was this J. Crew navy and pink plaid wool blend ruffle skirt in a size 4 petite. It sold on Facebook Marketplace. It took 63 days to sell and it sold for $23. And I sold this during December and they were, Facebook was not um, um, taking any fees. So I made the straight, here we go, $23 on that one. All right, next was this Anthropology Levensis, I don't think I'm saying that right, um, Whitby Lavender Blazer size 8. This poor girl that ordered this did not actually receive it because it got lost. I felt so bad for her, but um, I did after three weeks of it just sitting in... Um, the next town over from me, I contacted Poshmark to let them know I think the package was lost, and they said, yeah, probably so, and they um, reimbursed her money and still paid me, which is great. Um, but anyway, so I had had it listed for 60 days. It didn't sell. I relisted it, and it sold within 14 days after relisting. Um, it sold for $29. After fees, I made $23.20. And the last thing was this black Madewell long sleeve dress in a size large. Um, it sold after I relisted it, it sold within 31 days and it sold for $45. After fees, I made $36. So, um, like I said, the total of all 52 items was $781.03. And that brings my profit after you minus what I paid for the box of $300. Um, that brings me to a profit of $481.03. And like I said, I still have 80 items left. I think that's great. Even if I sold those items for super cheap, um, I, I still came out really, really good with this box. So my first impressions, I was a little like, eh. I didn't really know half of the brands that were in there because I'm just starting out and I'm still learning brands. But I realized I'd had a lot of good brands in there. Um, I actually still have like two Millie pieces that are listed um, a lot of very expensive brands that are still listed that haven't sold. So all in all, I think this was a good box. And like I said, I'd probably order one again. I actually am thinking about ordering the, um, the bigger one. Was it two, was it 300 pounds for $500? I think so. It's like four, four, or is it 400 pounds? I don't know. It's the big box. It's like $500 instead of $300. So I'm thinking about ordering that one. But anyways, so that, that was um, my breakdown of that box. Um, I hope y'all found this helpful. And I'm not saying that every one of these boxes are good because I've seen some unboxings that were really, really bad. But I got lucky and got a good one. Um, so I think it was totally worth it. So anyways, so if you like this type of content, unboxings, um, thrift hauls, things like that, think about subscribing. Um, and if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.